They're the most sought after pieces of gear in all of Minecraft Dungeons, and the thrill of finding a unique never gets old. Hello friends, my name is Kodiak, one half of the team behind Legion Gaming, and we're back talking about another Souls-based item that will literally chain your foes together and rip the souls right out of them. Today's video is all about the Jailer Scythe. Unique items provide you with incredible bonuses in Minecraft Dungeons. They're the most elusive pieces of gear, which means tracking them down can be a huge challenge. If you didn't already know, you'll need to run through dungeons multiple times to unlock every piece of gear that biome has to offer. If you're not sure what gear you have unlocked and what you don't, head to the world map, hover over a biome, and check the bottom left corner of the info panel. Any slots with a question mark means they haven't been unlocked and you'll need to keep searching for the missing pieces. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Jailer Scythe. This is a fascinating variant on the standard scythe and has the potential to be a really interesting item in a Souls-based DPS build. As always, we'll start with the stats. The Jailer Scythe does moderate damage and covers a decent area, but it's not exactly fast. I find that while the attack speed isn't great, it's also not unbearably slow. Compared to other weapons in the game, you hit quite a bit when you attack. That extra range may not seem like much when you're hitting a dummy, but you can really feel it when you're surrounded and need to carve a path to safety. The Jailer Scythe has one unique trait, the chance to chain enemies together on hit. This has the same effect as the Tier 1 Chains enchantment. Sadly, Tier 1 only chains enemies together for one second, and I wish it were longer, but still, keeping enemies pulled and rooted together even for a short time plays right into this weapon's strengths. Now, the second trait is a plus two to Souls Gathering. Of course, when it comes to scythes, you'll find few items that compare when it comes to soul collection. With the right enchantments, you'll be ripping souls from your enemies so fast, you won't know what to do with them. The Jailer Scythe probably isn't for beginners. Building for souls is something intricate. But if you're willing to take the chance and try something new, there's a lot you can do with something as unique as this weapon. In terms of design, I think the Jailer Scythe works. The weapon is supposed to be from High Block Keep, not some over-exaggerated fantasy weapon and I think the team did a good job bringing that to life. The subtle variation of color as you look along the blade is really great and makes the weapon feel deadly. I'm a fan, I really am, and think this is one of the better quote unquote realistic weapons in the game. We unlock the Jailer's Scythe from Pumpkin Pastures, but you can unlock this item from other places as well. Unique items are upgraded versions of their regular counterparts and can be found in the same zones. For example, if you wanted a unique heavy crossbow, you'd look in Cacti Canyon, but you could also find one in the Obsidian Pinnacle. So if you're looking for a specific unique, start by searching the map and identifying its common counterpart in one of the Minecraft Dungeons biomes. The Jailer Scythe is a really fascinating weapon. I wish unique effects had tier two or even tier three enchantments baked in because this weapon would be even more potent. Even still, there's a lot you can do with enchantments, and because this is a Souls weapon, there are even more options. Things like Anima Conduit are great for survivability, especially if you augment your attack speed with something like a Deathcap Mushroom. You'll be dropping enemies so fast, the amount of health you regain will be more than enough to sustain you. If you're looking for something with a bit more utility, you could even explore Freezing. The wider weapon arc means you'll be hitting more targets more often, and being able to control their movements by slowing them down may end up being incredibly efficient. Of course, if you are going full-blown souls with soul artifacts and soul gear up and down, you can't forget about Soul Siphon, which just accelerates how fast you can collect souls. Honestly, if you've never played with a true souls build, do yourself a favor and give it a try. It's incredibly fun and rewarding watching your souls meter fill up and then eviscerating enemies with your powerful souls-related artifacts. We'll leave you with a small montage of footage so you can see the Jailer Scythe in action. We hope you enjoyed this showcase of the Jailer Scythe. We plan on showcasing every unique item in the game, so if you like the video and want to see more, be sure to subscribe to Legion Gaming. We also invite you to join our Discord where you can meet up with fellow dungeon divers, talk about the game, and group up. 
Finally, if you like our video and want to support Legion Gaming even more, stop by our Patreon page. A few bucks gets you some awesome rewards like custom art and access to our private Minecraft server, so be sure to check it out. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legion Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.